what's going on everybody yes i here back again with another video and today in this video we are gonna see how we can fix this issue that is the major problem that uh, we usually face whenever we shift ourselves from uh, windows to linux or whenever we are doing dual boot okay you can see this uh, lock icon here and whenever you try to remove this you cannot neither remove it and you cannot move it to trash nor cut it nor do anything else and these two volumes are not too necessary for mine one and i have this data as a partition which is uh, used by both uh, windows and linux and it is ntfs file system it have ntfs ntfs file system and i just wanna you know make uh, you know make it movable or i just wanna delete it and i can not make any changes over here because of this lock icon so in this video we're gonna see how we can fix this so there are typically two ways so first one is you can just uh, format this uh, partition over uh, ext4 file system and for the purpose you can use any uh, application including uh, gpart aid and any dix utility management software and you can use gparted which is one of the famous one and it is available in almost every linux distros and in this distros uh, i am not available with this one and in this technique we are gonna see how we can fix this without uh, formatting those partitions so firstly head over to your terminal and just uh, write lsblk and you can see this one is the file that i wanna make it uh, movable or that i wanna make changes over so firstly i am gonna unmount it so for unmounting you just need to write sudo u mount and then slash dev slash sda3 so you can see sda3 is the partition one and okay okay it was the target is busy but uh if this one this type of technique do not work then you can just do unmount from here as well so i'll just do unmounting from here and then i'll just close it and i'll just do lsblk once again and you can see it is unmounted here because last time there are something written in this mount points section so now there is nothing anything else that is not written here so this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do and run ntfs file fix command. So I'll just do sudo ntfs fix slash dev slash sda3. So now that it's done. So now I will just close it and I will open my Thuner file manager and I will mount it once again, entering my password. Okay, I think I entered it wrong now you can see i can move it to trash i can delete it and do anything that i wish to do so hope you guys love this video make sure to like this video if you love this one and that's all for today thank you bye